Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and today I'm back with another super simple SketchUp lesson. Today, we're going to master some shortcuts. So, my friends, let's get cracking. We are going to go to my.sketchup. I will have a link in the description when you click that. If you've never signed in before, simply choose Sign In with Google and choose your Google account. So the first thing I want you to always notice is which template we choose. This is a game changer because if you're in the wrong one, the measurements just don't work. As soon as we enter, delete the individual that's built in here. We're going to click and release. Remember, always let go of the mouse button and we're going to choose the polygon. Move to your origin and I want you to start stretching it on the green line and I want you to type 150 and press enter. One of the shortcuts I want you to understand is you don't have to click anywhere to type that 150. You just type it and when you press enter it makes that exact size shape. I've watched a lot of students struggle with that. I've also watched a lot of students not switch from the video to the program. So also make sure you click on the tab so the software knows where you're talking about. Let's switch to the select tool. Make sure you scroll all the way in and click just on the edge so there's no dots. You only want the outside edge of your shape selected. The shortcut for that is the space bar. Let's click over here on entity info. You can see that our shape currently has six segments. Press seven or click seven, type seven and press enter. Let's zoom in so we can see what it looks like and you can see we have created a seven-sided shape. We're going to use this to draw several other shapes really quickly. The first thing I want you to do is roll back. Press the letter O, which is orbit. Click and drag so you can see all these corners. Next shortcut is L for line. I would like you to simply click on each endpoint, press escape, which cancels it, and then draw another line at each of these spots. So we're just drawing lines, practicing L was the way to get to it. Escape is the way to cancel it so we're not doing multiple lines. So there's escape and escape and escape. A interesting thing to do at this point is switch back to O with orbit and see if you've got one that was Kitty Wampus. You can see that this one did draw on a different plane. I probably wasn't looking and it did the blue plane. I'm gonna hit L and this time when I stretch it out, it's from point and let's double check again with that O for orbit. They are now all flat with the workspace, which is what I was hoping for. Let's quickly switch to a rectangle with the letter R and let's draw a rectangle out into space. Notice it draws from the corner. Let's tap R again, start another one, but let's do control. Notice it draws around itself. Draw a rectangle that comes really close to touching your shape. And we're gonna use another shortcut E to erase that center line. It's not a solid shape, so let's do the letter L. And let's draw from midpoint to midpoint, and then use that shortcut E to erase to get those back together again. Let's do the letter C for circle. Let's click on this endpoint and draw a circle once again, shortcut E to get rid of that shape. Let's do O for orbit, look at it from the top. Before we go any further, let's make sure we hit save. Choose that SketchUp folder and then remember the name is down here at the bottom. We're gonna name this one Silly Shortcuts because it is a silly shape with very important shortcuts. Let's real quickly switch to the tape measure with the letter T. Move back along that line and see how it shows me how many millimeters I am. I'm gonna type 25 millimeters to make that shape right there. And then I'm gonna press C for circle and I wanna make one that goes right to that end point. Once again, practicing E for erase, O for orbit. I'm gonna look at this edge. I'm gonna do E to get rid of this line. I'm going to erase this line as well. P for push-pull. I'm going to raise that up a little. I'm going to push-pull this, and I want to raise it to the same height. I'm going to do E for erase and get rid of this line. The shortcut for offset is the letter F. I always want to hit O, but that is orbit, so you need to use F tool. Remember when we offset, it lets us create an inset part of a shape. 
we're going to do space bar, which is select and then delete to get rid of that middle. P for push pull. And I want to raise this up the same height as this shape. I'm going to return to that circle tool. I'm going to go to this spot right here and make some sort of circle. Do the letter re E to erase both of those lines. Space bar, once again a shortcut to get to this edge. And then over here again on the entity info, I want to make a six-sided shape. Look at that instant hexagon. I'm going to do M for move, another amazing tool. I'm going to go to the edge and I'm going to hover, which then lets me select the middle. Instead of moving this shape though, I'm going to tap control to turn on copy mode. If I did want the middle selected, let's do that again. Space bar, this time I'm going to double click so I have both pieces. Still M for move, start at the corner, snap to the middle. When I start moving, tap control and I have all of a sudden have that sweet, amazing shape. Remember, I'm going to say it once again, O is not offset, it is orbit. I'm going to make those cool offset shapes. If you don't want to do one, escape. Faster select is space bar. Once again, I'm going to switch to that offset tool. Bam, bam. And then I'm going to do P for push pull. And I'm going to raise those pieces up just for fun. No special measurements. Space bar, make sure I've got that middle selection. See the dots. Then P for push pull. I'm going to raise it up just a little as well, like that. If you don't like your faces to be that color, I'm going to do space bar, right click, reverse faces to make it white. P for push pull. This time I'm going to raise the middle first. I was on the wrong one, so I escape it. Space bar, P, push pull, raise it the same height, and then raise it higher. And then that face, I'm going to reverse it once again so I've got the white side out. This one, whenever you have one of these lines that doesn't draw, we're simply going to use L for the line tool. If you connect it, boom, E for erase, you can put it back together. Right click, reverse that face again on all those. The last tool I want to talk about is the scale tool. Once again, I'm going to do spacebar to get select. This time I'm going to triple click. Notice it grabbed everything. S is for scale, and then if you click a corner, it scales about it, and you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want. I'm going to quickly click M and switch to the Move tool. Once again, when I grab a corner, it makes it super easy to tap Control and make a copy. Then I can do Spacebar, triple click the next piece, S for scale, and I can make it taller in a single direction. I can make it in other directions taller, and then I can always use the shortcut Control z to go back. So my friends, lots of cool things that you used. Of course, it's also real fun to play with materials. Just know that when you do the materials, uh, we have taken the shapes and made them quite small, so if you use the fun textures, they will not show up accurately. Because our little thing that we just made here is way smaller than a real chunk of carpet. But it is a lot of fun. You get to explore and paint things real fast. Once again, if you do spacebar, click, 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 it grabs it all, and you can paint the whole thing in one step. So, friends, it isn't a totally useful project because we're not building something we need, but you are mastering those shortcuts. That spacebar, O for orbit, P for push, pull, S for scale, M for move, tap and control to modify them. Those are all things that make you much faster and make SketchUp way more simple. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.